Ready, Set, Do has a number of preferences that you can use to customize your experience of the program. When you go to the Ready, Set, Do icon in your dock, Make Action List, you can go to the Change RSD Preferences and there are a number of things you can uh, change about your experience of Ready, Set, Do. The first one there is Global Audio. Uh, by default, Ready, Set, Do will bring up a dialog box and you can choose whether you want to use the script with audio or without audio. For those of you that just don't want to use audio at all, you don't, want, you don't like the voice coaching you or talking you through things, and you don't like choosing whether to use audio or not every time the scripts come up, you can just type the word off as you select OK and you just type off, and it'll eliminate the use of the voice in OS X. For those of you that just love the voice and you always want to be using it, you can just type on and it'll stay on as the global audio option. The second preference here is email action list default email. When you use the email my action list script, it will bring up a dialog box and ask you what email you want to send your action list to. But if you already know the emails you want to send your action list to, you can select this and then type them in. You can just separate all of them by a comma. And then whenever that email my action list script is run, it will automatically send those emails that you've put down. And that can be very useful, especially if you want to add a script in your iCal application to run your email my action list because you can have the email my action list script run at a regular interval, say every day or something like that. And you'll always be getting a fresh copy of your lists on your iPhone or your PDA or your work computer. So it can be very useful if you specify those email addresses here and then set up a, a rule in iCal to uh, send you those lists. Uh, and you can do that the same way that you set up the automating with iCal uh, script by using the weekly review and the daily review script that's talked about in the how to use ready set do file but um, you can just basically follow the same steps for using the email my action list script in iCal if you'd like to try that the sync iCal documents has to do with the sync iCal to do script by default this is set to on and what it tries to do is if you have documents that are connected with a to do in iCal it will try to grab the text of that document and put it into the notes section of the to-do. Uh, it's very useful if you have a Palm Pilot or a PDA that actually will allow you to see your iCal to-dos because uh, it's not only good to know what the item is in your system that you need to be working on, but a lot of times you need access to that text that's connected with that file or document. So the Sync iCal to-do script tries to get that text and get it connected with your to-do in iCal so that you can sync it with your Palm or other device. The staleness uh, has to do with how many days you consider something to be stale in your system. So by default it's set to 90 days. Any item that's over 90 days old is regarded as stale by Ready, Set, Do. And this is what's going to queue up the staleness buster when you're using Ready, Set, Do. It'll bring it up and say, you know, this item seems to be getting stale and it'll come up with some suggestions to help you get that item pushed forward. But if you regard staleness as you know, a different number of days, you can specify that here. Troubleshooting is used when there, you might be experiencing a script doesn't seem to be working the way you expect it to, or it cuts out in the middle of the script. Sometimes there can be a troublesome item in your system, and so what you can do is just turn troubleshooting on, and a lot of times you'll get a little more informative dialog box that'll let you know which item in your system may be causing the problem. Uh, mailbox name to file processed email for a mail rule scripts. By default, this is the trash mailbox in your mail.app application, your default Apple Mail email program. I like to keep this set as the trash because once I get files processed by the mail rule scripts in Ready, Set, Do and put into my Ready, Set, Do system, I don't want to deal with them anymore. I just want the ones in the email to go to the trash. They've been processed. They're in my Ready, Set, Do system, and that's where I want to deal with them. But if you like maintaining the threads and the conversation, and you want to keep those emails out of the trash, you can basically just specify the mailbox that you want to archive those emails, those processed emails into. So if you want to make a new mailbox in your mail.app application, you can call it archive. Whatever the name of it is, you just specify it here. And once the Ready, Set, Do mail rules process those emails, they will go to that folder or that mailbox. Uh, language preference by default is English. As more languages are added, obviously there will be more options. Label marking before daily review. This is when you run the daily review script, when you're checking your agenda 
that's when Ready, Set, Do is going through every item in your actionable folder and your read review folder and finding any items that are due within the next three months and labeling them either red, orange, or yellow depending on their due date. So if it seems like you've got a lot of items in your system and it seems like it's taking a really long time for you to look at your agenda before the next dialog pops up, you can turn the label marking off if you don't use that feature and the script will run a lot faster right after you're running your daily, when you're running the daily review. Uh, the voice preference, if you're running Leopard or Snow Leopard or above, the default is Alex, but if you want to change that to Victoria or Vicky or one of the other voice names that OS X uses, you can do that by specifying it here. The default file path for the Ready, Set, Do system, this is the most important preference because this is where your Ready, Set, Do active system is located. And this is the file path that is given to Ready, Set, Do. It says go to this location and find the inbox, find the projects. So if this is blank or it's not to the right location, uh, that can cause some issues with Ready, Set, Do. If you ever need to get back to setting the right location for your Ready, Set, Do system, this is where you do it. Default fa file path for RS2 system, and you just uh, select the file path where that system is located. By default, it's in your home directory. It is also used for having a zero desktop. Uh, so by default, Ready, Set, Do has a bunch of aliases on your desktop that link to the original folders in your RSD active system in your home directory. But a lot of people like to use their computer with absolutely nothing on their desktop. No documents, no aliases, not anything. And so by having this file path specified here, you can actually delete all of the aliases for Ready, Set, Do from your desktop, and Ready, Set, Do will still operate as you expect. Another use for the default file path for RSD system is if you have a thumb drive or a server or some other place you'd like to locate your Ready, Set, Do system, you can just specify the file path for that here, and Ready, Set, Do will continue to interact with that. The sync iCal to do's, uh, all, cal all to do is going to calendar number one. By default, when you run the sync iCal to do script, all of the to do's for all of your calendars go to the very first calendar in your list, and then Ready, Set, Do uh, processes off of that flat list. But if you subscribe to calendars or other people's calendars where they have to do items, and you start seeing those items always getting added to the list, and you don't like that, you can always turn this off, and the sync iCal to do script will not send all of those to-dos on other calendars to the first calendar on the list. Number 12 here has to do with hiding web browsers when processing your inbox. By default, Ready, Set, Do hides your web browsers as you're processing each item because the internet is such an easy drain on your attention and it's so easy to get distracted. So when you find an item that's a website or something, Ready, Set, Do will bring the What Is It dialog box up you type what it is and then it hides your web browsers to keep you focused. But if you like keeping your web browsers open, you don't like the fact that Ready, Set, Do is hiding your web browsers as you're processing things, you can turn that off here. The, uh, the, the other one here, Add or Modify Auto File Prefixes, uh, adds a, a little bit of a shortcut in your processing of items. If you have a lot of items that you need to process and they, they automatically go to a certain location. So for example, maybe you have financial records and you get the same email from your bank every single week and they always have, there's nothing you need to do to them, they just simply need to be filed. Um, you, what you can do is you can add a, a prefix like bank statement or bank dash, or something like that, and you specify the file path for anything with that prefix and instead of Ready, Set, Do walking you through all of the questions of what is it, is it actionable, it'll just default to that location so that you can file that item quickly. I'll talk about that a little bit later in another screencast, but it's a very useful new addition to Ready, Set, Do. And the, finally, the one here, Restore to Defaults, just sets all of your preferences back to what the defaults are when you first installed Ready, Set, Do. So I hope that some of this has been informative and uh, that you have a little bit more of an idea of how you can customize your experience of Ready, Set, Do by changing some of these preferences.